Hello, I'm Jose with FreeSky North America. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate and then show you how to set up a hand launch system with stabilized receivers. I was actually setting up and testing this system when a viewer sent me an email asking me how to do the exact same thing. Perfect timing, might as well make a video. The purpose of the setup is when I trigger the launch mode, the gyro will change to auto level mode and the elevator will be up a certain amount that I specify. So I set this up on my Fox three meter glider. I can demonstrate it on the home screen. I'm gonna go ahead and turn off the throttle cut. Channel active. Now, if you look over here, channel 14 is stab mode. If I flip it down here to the off position, Stabilize off. goes all the way that way. Middle position, Stabilize. nothing there. And when I go to auto level mode, auto level. it goes all the way to the left side. Stabilize. And over there, you see on channel two is my elevators. So I'm going to go ahead and activate the launch mode. Flight mode launch. And if you take a look, channel two elevators got about 30% of elevator up. And the stabilized mode goes all the way to that side, which is auto level mode. Now, go ahead and throttle up and launch the plane and the plane should go up a certain amount. And then when I feel like I wanna take over, I touch the sticks. Flight mode normal. And if you take a look, the stab mode then goes to the middle position, which is whatever. Auto level, stabilize, stabilize off. Mode, stabilize. I have that switch and the elevators go back to normal. So when I set this up on my Fox glider, with the power of the plane, about 30% up worked very well. The amount of up will depend on your particular plane. As soon as the touch of sticks, I had full control and the transition was very smooth. Okay, next up, we're gonna go ahead and do the setup on a brand new model. So this is a brand new file. The only thing in it is a switch that goes into the gyro modes. And obviously I did set up a pot, but I don't really need it for this particular demo. All right, so the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and set up the logical switches that sense the position of my sticks. I'm gonna go into model, scroll all the way to the next page to logic switch. We're gonna go ahead and add a new logic switch. The first one is gonna be the elevator one. So I'm gonna call this elevator Ella stick. And the function that we want is the first one that's already there as a default, and it is A is around X. So when A, which is going to be elevator, so I'm gonna go over here and choose elevator, is around zero. Right now, if you take a look, green light on. If I move it, it goes to red light, which is off. So I want it the other way around. I want it so that when I move the stick from center, then it turns on. So all we got to do is invert the switch. So invert. Now it's correct. So this is good. Return and return to get out of it. Now I'm back in the logic switch menu. Going to go over there and clone this switch. So I'm just going to use it sort of like as a template. So I, I edit it. And this one over here, let's go ahead and make this aileron. So I just essentially um, cloned it edited it, and then now I'm gonna make it aileron. Same functions over here. The only thing I've gotta do is change this source to be the aileron. All right, that's done. Return to get out of that. Now I've got my aileron stick, and you'll see a bold elevator stick. Now what I wanna do is make one switch that does both of these things. So I'm just gonna do an or switch. We're gonna add a new switch. Over here, let's call it both sticks. Go over here, and instead of A is around X, I'm gonna go down the list and look for OR. There it is, OR. First value is gonna be the first logic switch, so in category, go over to logic switch, and look for elevator stick, that's fine. Return out of that. Second value, let's make it same thing. Let's go to logic switch and we'll make it the aileron stick. 
return to get out of that a couple times. There, right now, see the switch is off because it's red. But if I move the aileron, it turns on. Move the elevator, it turns on as well. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and um, make the actual switch that we need that we'll put everywhere that we need to. And that I'm going to call the launch switch. So let's add a new switch, call it launch. Uh, keep missing that launch. SW. Return, get out of that. Function now is I want a sticky switch. So I went backwards so I can get to the bottom of the menu because I knew sticky was at the bottom. There it is, sticky. Trigger on condition is what do I want to activate to turn on the launch mode? And I chose this switch over here. So if you're going to choose a momentary switch like this, notice it's got an up and a down. And the one that I want is down because when I hold it, I see that the arrow down. So I got to hold down that switch and then return to get out of it while I'm holding it down. And then I confirm that it is actually down. And when I hit the switch, it bolts. So if you look right now, that green light is on. In other words, the switch is on because it's a sticky switch. A sticky switch will turn on and remain on until the trigger off condition is met. So the trigger off condition is going to be logic switch and it's going to be both sticks. So now since it's on, I hit the switch, it turns off. Turn it on, off. Now some people may want something a little bit more. So a lot of people use the function switch um, to turn it on and what you can do is you can just do, so obviously you don't want to hit this during flight and then it turn on on you and then the plane rises on you. So what you can do is you can do a delay before active of say, let's do one second. So right now the switch is on, turns off. Now I have to hit and hold down that switch for at least a second before it turns on. Again, we can turn it off. And if I just tap the switch, notice it won't turn on. So that delay before active gives you a nice little safety. So you got to hold it down for a certain amount of time before that switch turns on. All right. So we've created all the logical switches that we need. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to special functions. And I'm going to create a sound call out for going in and out of that mode. So in special functions, click anywhere in there and add. Function that I want is play audio. And active condition is going to be that logic switch. So it's going to be launch switch over there. And so when launch switch is on, I want it to call out something. Now we add a new line in sequence at the bottom, play file. And the file that we want, uh, I think for launch mode, I think there's a flight mode launch. So if I hit the switch and hold it down, oh, I forgot one thing, enable it. Flight mode launch. <laughs> there it is. Okay, so obviously if you don't enable it, it's not gonna turn on. Turn it off. Flight mode launch. Perfect. I'm going to do one to turn that off. So let's clone this switch. Flight mode launch. Edit it. And instead of active condition launch, I want the um, when it's off. So all I need to do is hit and hold that down and invert it. And the file that I want to play, let's go edit and maybe let's make it normal. Flight mode normal. So now let's double check this. Okay. Flight mode normal. Flight mode launch. Perfect. 
All right, so we made the call out so we know Flight mode normal. When, when it's on and when it's off. The next thing I need to do is modify my mixes so it does the stuff that I want. So let's go to stab mode. So I'm going to go into mixes and go into stab mode over here. Edit it. What I want is I want to override this switch that goes from off, middle, and on. I want to override it so that when I turn on this launch mode, it always goes to minus 100%, which is auto level. So there's so many ways to do this, but the way that I like to do it is I'll add a new action. It's going to be a curve. The curve is going to be a new curve, so let's add one. Name it, since what I'm going to make it do is go to minus 100%. I'm going to name it minus 100. And the type is going to be custom, two points. We'll go down to points. First point, minus 100. Because that's what I want the switch to do. I want the switch to only go to minus 100. Second point, minus 100. I'm going to exit out of this and go back to this curve area. And instead of always on, I want it on that logic switch. It's going to be launch switch. There it is. So if I get out of this all the way, we can take a look over here at the outputs. And if I flip the switch to middle or say, all the way over to off. When I go into launch mode, flight mode launch, it'll override everything because the curve overrides everything. And now it's just going to go to launch mode. And now I can flip the switch whatever position. And if you notice, because that curve is activated and it's minus 100 all the way, it'll only go to that position. When I, if I'm in the middle position, flight mode normal. There it goes. Switch is over. The next thing I need to do is create the elevator up. Now, again, there's a couple of ways to do this. You know, you don't have to use my method if you have a better method. But what I like to do is I like to do it in VARs. So I'm going to return out of here and go into VARs. So what I'm going to do is create the amount of elevator up. So let's go ahead and name this elevator offset. So this is the amount of elevator offset for that launch mode. I go down here to values. Now I can input whatever I want. So in my testing with the uh, uh, FMS Fox, I wanted about 30% elevator. So I'm going to go ahead and change this number to 30. The next thing I'm going to do is if you want to, you don't need to do this, but if you want to, you can just change this value so you can fly your plane. Uh, you know what? That's not good enough. I need it more. I need it less. But actions over here allow you to make this var of um, variable. You can make it into that number to whatever you want. So let's add a new action. And say I'm not using this trim over here. So I'm going to go ahead and elevator up. And it's going to be add to that value, and we're going to add maybe 1%. Add a new action and trim down. Trim center. And we're going to minus 1. So now, if you take a look at that value of 30, 29, 30. So I can go ahead and adjust the amount of up elevator that I want. So now I'm going to go back to the mixes page and I'm going to create that elevator offset. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over here anywhere in that list, hit enter and add a new mix. It's going to be a free mix. And we're going to put it right after elevator, so because we know that it affects elevator. It's just in that list, it makes it easier for us to understand what's happening. Let's go ahead and name this launch. 
mode. Yeah, or launch ode. Active condition will be logic switch, launch switch. Return, return. Source will be that var that we created. Elevator offset, there it is. And now the output will be elevator. So if we look down here at the output, so down here is always the output. So we see the elevator move. This is the output. So it shows you everything that's happening with elevator. And if I go into launch mode, Flight mode launch. it goes positive number because I did a positive number. In this particular case, let's take a look. Flight mode normal. Down elevator is forward. So what I need to do is I need to make that a negative number. Now to me, making that var a positive number makes sense to me. So all I want to do then is just take this elevator offset var and reverse it. Negative. So if we look down here, now again, this, uh, it being positive and negative depends on if your servo is reversed or not. So up elevator is a negative number. See that it goes backwards. So now let's go into Flight mode launch. And it's going backwards. Perfect. So now that's going to add up elevator. It just depends on whether or not your, your uh, um, servo is reversed or not. If I take my sticks. Flight boom. mode normal. So let's look at the output page and see if this worked. I think it did. We just tested them both. But let's just double check. So over here, let's go down to channel 13. Actually, 14 for the stab mode. If I flip the switch to gyro off, when I go into flight, uh, flight, mode, launch, flight mode launch, it goes all the way to auto level. And if you look over here, elevator has gone to up. Now, I can go over here and I throttle up, launch the plane, the plane goes up as soon as I at a good altitude. Flight mode normal. Elevator goes to normal. And down here, my stab mode goes to whichever position I put the stab. I think we're done. The good thing is, is if you realize that it's not enough elevator or it's too much elevator. Flight mode launch. You can go ahead and adjust it. Trim center. So you can try 22% and then try it again. All right, that's it, guys. I think this is done. Uh, this is just a nice, simple way. I tested this with my Fox glider, and it works beautifully. As soon as I launch, the plane goes into a nice little up attitude, and it just sort of flies away from me, wings nice and level. When I touch the sticks, then I have control, and it is very smooth. It works really, really nicely. Um, that's it for this video. If you guys have any questions or comments, go ahead and leave them in the um, comment section of this video. But if it is something urgent, go ahead and email me at jose at frsky-rc.com. So jose at frsky-rc.com. Because a lot of times I don't get notifications or somehow I miss them, but emails, I seem to get those a little bit more reliably. All right, guys, thank you. That is it. Have a good night.